kind of booing. Nice catch. Thank you. To show everybody in YouTube land the size differences. There's the X36. Here comes Santa by this time, Big. <laughs> Monster plane, man. I had no idea it was going to be this big. Yeah. <laughs> so take a look at the elevator. That's our pitch gyro. Mm. And then our roll gyro. Then our yaw gyro. Yes. Okay. All right, so there's our pitch. Okay. Hang on, let me get it. Roll. Yaw. Mm -hmm. And then flaps. So look at that airfoil when it comes into flaps, how it's like a it's like a slow stick wing. I got the leading edge slat in the front, yeah. and then the flap in the back. What I want to do is get it dialed in, get it trimmed in, and then see how far I can start walking the center of gravity back and adjusting the gyros and the elevator down and get it dialed in as the best airplane first. So I'm going to do like a 360 spin and then launch that way. Nice. Uh-oh. <laughs> I swear that audio was delayed after it hit it. Well, it could be that it's too floaty of an airplane. Mm -hmm. You need it to go faster to compensate? What, what? Uh, faster and heavier. It looks okay. See if it's all right. Somewhere there's a short in here. A loose wire? Yeah. Oh. Do, do you find two loose wires? No, just one. <laughs> Anybody got a toothpick? Oh, here's one. So nice. Okay, that was either... Interference? That was either a loose wire or a radio hit, because the plane flies great. Mm-hmm. Oh. It's doing it again! Land the same way! Okay, what is that? It must I don't be know, some it weird... might just be slipping away from me. I wonder if the yaw gyro is in the first. Whee! <laughs> I wonder if the yaw gyro is in reverse and it's telling it to go the wrong way. Boy, that would be a dumb mistake. The yaw gyro is right. It definitely feels like a yaw problem that it's sliding out and then getting right. crazy. Right. So this is what we're talking about, breaking the test down into smaller, smaller tests. Test one thing at a time. Imagine starting everything. Yeah, right imagine now. trying to do vertical takeoff on a plane that doesn't fly. Well, look above you. I just love that throw. How's it so far? I don't know. I just don't have the feel of this yet. You know what I mean? Yeah. Also, you know what it could be, guys, is I might need larger vertical stabilizers. Hey, Matt. Oh. You know what? The vertical stabilizers might not be tall enough because of all that drag in the front. You remember how I always tell everybody in the video, make your, ta your tails nice and tall? Make it big and trim them. Yeah. Okay, that, I, I bet you anything that's what it is. So does have a pop-up one? <laughs> Did you hear that? Yeah. Do you have any foam with you? Uh, oh, I do. Good you idea. do? Oh, very nice. Let's do that. All right, coming in. Watch for Phil. Flaps. Whoa. That's exactly what I need to work on. Once you get it dialed in, is I need to come in super slow and uh, have those flaps come down and maintain control and not have a tip stall. Because if I can get it to come in without any uh, vertical takeoff equipment on it, to have it come in yeah. and settle in real slow, real controlled all by itself, that means it's ready to start putting in vertical takeoff stuff. So Matt, rotate this way a little bit. Okay, yeah, that's the problem. Look at this. This yeah, mess it's up here is creating more turbulence than these little dinky things to deal with. Okay, we're, we're making a list, checking it once. <laughs> All right, little toothpicks so they don't slide around. Yeah. Make this cushion for you, Dave. Cushion? Oh. <laughs> An airbag. Oh, thanks. It has a pillow. Oh. oh. <laughs> this is just to confirm that it needs more vertical stabilizers, which I'm 99% sure, 100% sure that's 99.5% sure that's what it is. What kind of heli is that? A nice one. I didn't know that. Okay. 
right off, that's it. I can feel it instantly. That's what I'm talking about. I don't know what it is, but I go by feel on these planes. And the second it took off, I felt it. It's exactly right. This is exactly why we're out here. It's just to expose all the dummy mistakes and get ourselves to zero. Now we've got a good flying plane. Come back next week and start doing more tests. And that is trying to get it to come in nice and low and slow and stay steady. Now I can start moving the CG back. So I'm gonna get a little altitude and do some floating tests. Flaps down, see what it does. Wow! Oh. Wow! What happened? That's what I'm looking for. <sighs> All right, another test. Flaps down. Yeah, then it loses it right there, big time. Yeah, I'm losing it, I'm losing it. Look out. <laughs> Alright, so that's gonna be an issue. Let me try landing it and cranking up the roll gyro. Coming in for a landing with flaps down, a little bit of speed. Okay, that's, that's what I'm looking for. A little slower, but I just want that thing to come down and right when it's about to drop out of the sky, boom, we turn on that second fan and it goes into the thrust vectoring mode. Hey, what's up? What's your name? Emery. Emery, good to meet you. Yeah. All right, so I'm taking off that way. Let's try a loop-de-loop. -loop. Okay. Oh yeah. Oh, that's good. It likes its loop de loop. Okay, so we got time for another test. I'd like to try it with the center of gravity farther back and the elevators down to compensate. Hey, can you hold that for me? Don't lose. I look at all different kinds of planes here. Thank you. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Take it off this way. Oh! Flaps down. <laughs> Gonna head right. Mm -hmm. Our battery's dying. Okay, so very, very good. I'm very happy with where we're at right now. We've got, we've solved yes. the yaw problem, which we first had when it spun out of control. It is showing that it's pleasantly welcoming tail heaviness. So which means as I'm moving the tails, the, the center of gravity farther back, it's very comfortable, which is very good. The Wild Hawk was like that. All right, so come back next Saturday morning. We're gonna do some more testing based off what we figured out. Remember, Mondays now, we have our business shows, internet business shows, that's on YouTube here. And then Thursdays, we have our beginner RC shows. That's going good, so learn how to kind of work your way up to doing what we're doing. We're gonna cover <laughs> beginner stuff for a couple months, then I'm gonna move right into intermediate and advanced and show you all the, the tricks that we know. And then Saturdays, that's what you're watching now. And then Sundays, we have our live show. That's like our question and answer. That's not on YouTube like the other three. That's at our website, rcpowers.com and you click on live webcast, something like that. And there's a little thing, go in and chat. And one other thing for now, go to rcpowers.com and go into our video blogs. I'll put a direct link in the sidebar there and that'll just have a little bit of a write up of our notes from today and our plans for next week. So, see you next week. Good? Yeah. Uh-oh.